Guys, what do we do? Like, escape seems like the thing that you want to do. But mind control facility sounds like the thing that I want to do. Like, how cool does that sound? You are playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Did that say this? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. <laughs> Exhilarating. Others might have considered it soul winding. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Was he? And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Oh. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Oh no. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Now I am Stanley. He does step out of his office. I float a little bit and it's All weird. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It's so easy to miss memos around here. I mean, look at all the papers all over the floor. It probably got dropped in one of those. So where the heck's the meeting room? I mean, that doesn't look very meeting roomy. We're just going to keep trucking until we see something, yeah? Are when you... Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I feel like for right now, I'm going to be a rule follower. For now. We'll see how we feel later. Oh, that's pretty. Sorry, shiny objects. Moving on. I feel like I belong in here. Is this my meeting room? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. They have a whiteboard manager. Oh, rip Franz. Oh, poor Franz. All right, what do we have here? Termination Tuesdays. Oh my. What else we got over here? Get Chris out of the broom closet. Oh no. Is there a Chris in the broom closet? Oh no. I feel like we gotta save Chris. Where's the broom closet? <gasps> Chris! Nope. Is Chris in here? Chris! Stanley stepped into the broom closet, <laughs> but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. <gasps> Wait a minute. I just realized that my interaction sound is literally like keyboard noises. Listen. This is all part of the parable. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. All right, we're gonna go to the boss and we're gonna demand that Chris comes out of the broom cupboard or whatever it was. Hello? Hello? Why does the door look like that? I gotta go to the bathroom. Extreme bathrooms. Hold on. <laughs> what does that say? Well, there's nobody here. I'm gonna go demand a raise right now. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. 2845. It's so secret that I didn't even know it. I want to play the piano. I 
it does look Stanley great. just sat around twiddling his thumbs. <laughs> yeah, but I know it's 2845, but I want a drinky. 2845. <laughs> Alright, he's getting upset with me. He's getting upset with me. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the uh -oh. correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Um. Well, this isn't creepy at all. It's basically the Truman Show, yeah. Oh, now I can see. Thanks. Real nice. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he <laughs> felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Jesus. Now, I was following the rules because I felt like that's something that you should just do at first, just to get a feel for like what's going on. What is that guy? Why are you yellow? Stanley oh walks my! Through, through the large door. Oh, of the mind that was so loud. Facility. <gasps> Guys, what do we do? Like escape seems like the thing that you want to do, but mind control facility sounds like the thing that I want to do. Like how cool does that sound? Guys, what do we do? Do we escape or do we go to the mind control facility? Like. That immediately sounds so much better than escape. This seems like the wrong thing to do, so people want to do the wrong thing. But this seems like the cool thing to do. Oh man, I think mind control room is the way to go. Right, that's what I'm saying. It's like you can leave or you can do this really awesome, amazing thing. We're gonna to go to the mind control facility. Good choice. All right, here we go. Can't pick anything up. I'm gonna press it. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Whoa. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? That's a lot of TV screens. Holy crap. Another button. Let's press it. Now the Oopsie. monitors jump to life. Their true nature. Holy is shit. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. Whoa. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. That's a lot of monitoring. Right, what's that do? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? All this time? No, he refused to believe it. No! He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? I don't think Had so. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? <laughs> but here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I mean, I... I mean, I kind of want to control people. <laughs> Does that make me a terrible person? I kind of want to see what the mind control seems like. So, we're supposed to dismantle it. But, like, I want to turn it online. Or, wait a minute. Can I run? I crouch fast as F. Oh, my God, dude. Big teabag like nobody other. All right. Hey, that's pretty good. Mind controls idle, awaiting input. And when at last he found the source of the room's power... He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. All 
I feel like I have to. I feel like I must. I, I'm just like, if we're talking about breaking the rules and doing something you're not supposed to do, I feel like this is the one that I'm not supposed to do. I'm gonna do it. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If oh, you want to God. throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Uh oh In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Oh. Now, this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. More time to Incorrect. talk about you. I don't completely understand. I have 50 seconds to figure out what to do. Wait a minute. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These what are the precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? No. <laughs> oh God. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's oh 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. Oh no God. Idea. I can't open doors. I think this is it, guys. Will you cling desperately to your this is it. Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I won't be Mission failed. So we'll get him next time. From the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. I thought the game closed out. I was like, bro, what the hell is going on?